what's going on, y'all? What the fuck the deal is? Thank y'all for tuning in with the boy. I mean, I said the boy show. Vlogging with Diddy. I forgot I changed the name. I don't know why I keep on saying the boy show, but check this out. So here in Michigan, they are setting rules. Like, you cannot be outside. Yesterday, you couldn't be outside after 12 o'clock. Now, they say you can't be outside after 7 o'clock. If you're outside after 7 o'clock, it's a $500 fine and maybe some jail time. $500 fine and maybe some jail time. Bro, here in Michigan, the coronavirus is over 200 officers. That's just... I ain't gonna say 200 officers got it, but... Shoot, a few precinct departments over a few few dozen police officers had the shit so y'all got less police officers on the street here than on the streets here now because y'all just sat up there and shut down over 200 police officers and told them to go to quarantine or whatever you know what i'm saying and it's it's <laughs> it's, it's crazy man and then y'all sit up here and want to give a person a 500 dollars fine or give them some jail time for still being outside after seven or 7 or 12 o'clock, whichever the one it is. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But we do need to be safe out here. You know, that coronavirus, I guess, is it a shot through the roof. It, it's amazing how it started in a whole nother country and ended up being over here in this country. You know, that is, that's, that's crazy, man. Crazy man, how things just travel just like that. But then word around was that uh they wanted people to be in the house at a certain time because they were gonna have uh airplanes and helicopters flying around in the skies, shooting all the stuff down from the skies to, to try to you know disinfect you know areas. And that's what's going on with a lot of these jobs, and that's why a lot of these jobs and everything shut down because you know these people at these places disinfecting the whole situation. But, you know, I mean, I think that's a damn good idea. But if a person who still got it, not knowing that they got it, after y'all open the business back up, step back in there and get to touch the shit, then what? You know, I wonder what the government is going to do, man, to resolve this whole situation. You know, because uh, this, is, this is crazy, man. People are really out here dying from this stuff. People are sick out here, man. People are are, are afraid and, and, and panicking and going through some, you know, you know, crazy things right now, man. People worrying about how they gonna get income, you know, because a lot of these jobs closing down, they ain't got no no source of income. Is 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 crazy, you know. I mean, we gotta we gotta figure this out, man. We really gotta figure this out. A lot of thousands of people collected unemployment. I call an unemployment office. I can't even get through because that thing is going off the charts, man. Because of this. And then they say they giving out $1,000 checks. Forget giving us $1,000 checks here and then all the way there. You need to give America's Americans money like every two weeks. Like, I, I Canada doing. Look what Canada doing. Canada is, is, is they making, they, they, they good good make you want to move to Canada or something man because you know things like this man they, they pay their citizens every two weeks and making sure their utilities and everything is, is um, I want to say paid for but they ain't got to worry about shut off notices or eviction notices or none of that stuff I mean Michigan we, we got to hear a little bit like that too in a way yeah but it's still a process for us to even collect any type of money for, for this that's going on, for this crisis that's going on. We got to fill our paperwork and send it in and all this extra stuff, you know? It's crazy, man. But y'all stay safe out there, you know, think positive, you know, don't allow this uh, coronavirus to, to have you living in fear, man, but you do want to protect yourself. Protect yourself, stay safe, protect your children. stuff is real out here man and, uh, right now I'm just sitting in me and Jupiter out here you know I'm out here chilling in Jupiter you know uh, just, just, <sighs> it's a lot on my mind man because it's 
coronavirus stuff, but I'm going to just leave it at that. You know, y'all stay safe. You know, give it a thumbs up if y'all like it. Give it a thumbs down if y'all don't like it. You know, I don't know too much about it. So I'm not even about to sit up here and be ranting on some shit that I don't really know too much about. I'm just basically telling y'all what's going on here in Michigan. My ear just rung crazy. But I'm just telling y'all what's going on here in Michigan, man. And, you know, there's no martial law here in Michigan. They just having a, 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 a curfew time, so they say, so they can spray whatever they need to spray in the sky so we won't be outside and hella all that, you know, chemicals and stuff, you know, endangering ourselves even more because we hard-headed, don't want to listen, and still want to be outside, you know, but if they catch you outside, uh, Michigan State Troopers or whoever patrol in the streets because barely any police officers out here rolling up, they catch you outside, $500 fine, maybe even some jail time. More than likely, the motherfuckers ain't gonna want to arrest nobody. They ain't gonna want to touch nobody because of what's going on. Shit, they, they got families. They want to get home safe and sound too because they love ones. Fuck out of here, man. But thank y'all for tuning in. Give it a thumbs up if y'all like it. Give it a thumbs down if y'all like it. Y'all got anything to say? Comment in the comment section below and now maybe respond to your comment and let you know what's going on here in Michigan. And if you is here from Michigan and you got your old trade of thoughts that you want to throw on here, shit by any means throw that shit on here and i'll still reply to the comment and let you know my opinions as well as me read your opinions on what's going on here in michigan